and to touch up upon software driven vehicles it is a great pleasure to welcome mr sachin sanghi mr sachin sanghi is the principal architect of manufacturing at google with a remarkable career spanning over 25 years he has become a seasoned expert in the fields of manufacturing and digitalization at google mr sanghi is at the forefront of advancing the adoption of cutting edge technologies such as cloud computing iot artificial intelligence and machine learning in manufacturing his efforts focus on promoting connected shop flows and optimizing processes in both discrete and process ma ma manufacturing sectors mr sanghi's journey began at general motors in michigan where he owned his skills for a decade before dedicating the past 10 years to siemens throughout his illustrious career he has collaborated with renowned companies such as general motors aisha motors and suzlon energy limited making significant contribution to various manufacturing initiatives ranging from lean techniques to the theory of constraints Mr Sanghi holds a master's degree in industrial management and technology from Central Michigan University solidifying his position as a visionary leader who is actively shaping the future of digital manufacturing we are honored to have him with us today thank you again for this wonderful in introduction and uh, sagar is a good friend of mine i appreciate uh, it, it is ironic that i represent a tech company and we had a technical difficulty Uh, but i think yes uh, i'm using a chromebook which is not a windows machine and after 35 years i've started i've left windows and got into the uh, google workspace and the chrome environment uh, except for this event i've been loving it but anyway that's not an excuse i do uh, but something didn't figure out but thanks to mr joshi and mr das uh, for quickly filling in um so i'm what i'm going to talk to you about is i'm sure many in the crowd are thinking that what is google doing in an automotive sector or why is google in manufacturing you know does it even know about anything to do with manufacturing so i will talk about what google does in um, manufacturing after that i'll also take you through uh, some of the key topic my topic today is software defined vehicle so we've been talking about ev sustainability all of these have a good role to play um, software defined vehicle will have a very large role to play uh, in many of the aspects of how we as consumers are going to use the vehicle not just for our entertainment but for our safety as well but also for sustainability uh, so i'll walk you through uh, a little bit about what google is uh, doing in that space um, so about about uh, about google cloud which i represent as part of google which you know the company we use uh, if you use you use google search gmail and what not so that is from the google uh, stable of companies uh, up please and um, google is also part of alphabet so alphabet is the holding company um, and if you move to the next slide please uh, so i will first talk about uh, what is the offering end to end offering that alphabet as a company has for automotive industry so it starts with research and development um, there is autonomous driving car uh, waymo as you waymo as you know if you might be knowing it's a self driving car it is already available as a taxi in san francisco that you can hail uh, that is from alphabet so google does know a little bit about manufacturing uh, then uh, we've got android auto system so there are a lot of uh, there's an ios there's for phone we have android so google also has the google android uh, automotive uh, auto system uh, we have voice technology gpay youtube premium so that's on the on one end on the other end we've got manufacturing we are working a lot and i'll show you we're working with ai and ml uh, generative ai as well um then for sales and marketing again if you need to any consumer who first thinks about buying an ev what is the first thing they do they go to google uh, they say i am wanting to buy an ev so youtube google plays a large role in helping people get the message understand you know what ev is so it starts from there so that's the sales and marketing pitch at the bottom again there are various innovations that are going on at the alphabet level uh, so talking about automotive uh, 
टेन आउट ऑफ टेन लार्ज ऑटोमोटिव कंपनीज गूगल क्लाउड इज ऑलरेडी बींग यूटिलाइज बाय दैम एंड यू विल रिकग्नाइज सम इंडियन नेम्स हेयर एज वेल विच इज महिंद्रा बट रनो ग्रुप फोर्ड मोटर कंपनी दे आर आर फ्लैगशिप कस्टमर्स सिब्रोज हुज अ पार्टनर जियो टैब इज अ पार्टनर फोर ऑफ फोर ऑटोनोमस ड्राइविंग कंपनीज टूडे आर यूजिंग गूगल क्लाउड एंड हेयर दीज आर ऑटोनोमस ड्राइविंग कंपनीज दैट हैव अ लाइसेंस लाइक वी ऑल हु ड्राइव वी हैव अ लाइसेंस so in united states for a car to drive without a driver they also need to have a license so there are four companies who have a license all of them are working on google cloud so uh, coming to manufacturing uh, we have a manufacturing offering that manufacturers can start with procurement uh, manufacturing distribution sales and marketing service in r&d there is a whole spectrum which is covered by solutions that are offered by google cloud right uh, so let's dive into today i'm not going to dive into all of them we'll dive a little bit into deeper is given the fact that you know uh, we have solutions in all of those uh, how does google drive google cloud drive automation in the automotive industry so we've got these six pillars first is accelerating r&d and innovation so how any time you develop a new model you re- are required to run a lot of simulations to see whether your design meets the safety uh, the engine meets the bs6 criteria crash simulation aerodynamics what not it is a very time consuming activity it requires a lot of compute power ai and ml is rapidly making its way inside that domain where instead of running complicated simulations can i have ai and ml tell me is the shape that i have designed of my vehicle is it going to meet the mileage and the aerodynamic characteristics or not and if not which part of the shape i can as a i as a designer need to work upon to get the right shape so months activities can be done in weeks weeks activities can be done in days days activity can be done in seconds i am going to focus on the second one which is unlocking the software defined vehicle um the software defined vehicle of the future will have a lot of value added services um it will also mean monetization for the automotive companies as end users it would mean um a completely different driving experience it will help us to utilize our time during long commutes it will help us it will warn us of any kind of uh, distress or dangers that must that would be around your immediate area uh, so i'll delve into a little bit of that beyond that again for automotive uh, we have a strong presence in um, manufacturing tata steel is a very large customers of customer of google cloud in india adani works their entire industrial cloud for manufacturing that is also hosted on google cloud i alluded a little bit to customer 360 degree experience so today when you walk into a sales um, dealership to buy a car you can imagine that the day it takes a while for the dealer to come and sales rep to come and talk to you these days they have all the data that the customer that has walked in what preferences you have what kind of a car will appeal to you did anybody in your family buy that same brand or not right so maruti claims this is not google cloud maruti claims that anybody who walks into the dealership even if their grand if the generation above if their grandparents had owned a maruti um the sales person would be knowing about that yeah uh the last two are more about using collaboration tools that google cloud provided provides and google as a whole and sustainability there was a lot of discussion in the earlier panel also so google was one of the first companies to go uh, carbon free and we should be carbon neutral by 2030 that is the stated goal of alphabet so let's dive into the topic uh, main topic today which is unlocking the defi- uh, uh, software defined vehicle uh, so those of you who are familiar with the vehicle design uh, we went and adopted ecus that really made our cars uh, our vehicles lot more interactive lot more electronic in nature it gave us the first features of drive by wire tap shifts you know um, current condition of our vehicle we were able to see all of that now what comes is uh, all the software that needs to be written can software govern the vehicle so if it comes to sustainability uh, can there be a software that increases the efficiency of the whatever fuel system you are using to drive the vehicle so we'll talk about connected vehicle platform Uh, over the air software updates 
APG is a term that is a Google term. So it's a how do you enable the ecosystem around the software defined vehicle. Uh, here's an example of Renault. Renault is uh, our flagship partnership when it comes to the software defined vehicle. We'll start at the top. Uh, at the top is auto applications and services that is OEM and third party. So a lot of the OEMs today want to be able to give you various services. Um, just yesterday I was with a uh, with the product development head of a major automotive company and, and, and they have a very fascinating uh, idea about what software defined vehicles should do. So they want to be, if you're going for a concert, maybe, you know, Sonu Nigam is, uh, you bought tickets to a Sonu Nigam concert and some of you might have realized that as you reach there, you bought this expensive ticket, but there is a traffic jam. And there are always some smart people who know where to park and walk the last 200 km. 300 meters and they reach there faster, right? So can that be done with a software defined vehicle will bring to you things like that, right? Um, you're going to calm shade during winter or during um, monsoons and can it tell you that, okay, it's raining very heavily and you're likely to find this bridge which is with water. So I would want you to divert you to a different, um, you know, different route. So that's the OEM system and applications. Then there are third party applications that will start to come in. I was just discussing, uh, I was having an interesting conversation with a friend of mine, Yogesh, who's, who's here, um, about what third party applications can come in. And, and he gave me some fascinating ideas of, of what is to come. And then comes the ecosystem services. So based on your driving pattern, how's your insurance? I'm sure all of, everybody in this room is an extremely safe driver. So as safe drivers, we should be rewarded uh, with cheaper insurance policies and those kind of solutions will come on the top layer. But how do you enable that? To enable that, you need a layer in between. So the middle layer is the AI and ML. You need to apply a lot of AI and ML to be able to provide these kind of services. And to provide a AI and ML, what you of course need is data. You need a you need data coming out of from your vehicle and you need to be able to send data to the vehicle. Now, when it comes to something, a phone is still easier. It's a moving object and it has some data. It has a small chip. But when it comes to an automobile, the kind of data that an automobile generates, it poses a lot of challenges. And at Google Cloud, we have solved some of those challenges by bringing our technology that can be implemented at the edge itself. So. So the question is that are automotive companies incorporating tech or tech is now incorporating automotive? Uh, you know, are we, are we really going to have pure automotive companies or uh, successful auto companies of the future are going to be tech companies that build automobiles? I don't know the answer. Uh, yeah, my, you know, my guess would be any could be better than anybody else. But I have a suspicion that, yes, we are moving towards um, we are moving towards tech getting massively involved in the auto sector. And so there is a vehicle development platform and then you need continuous uh, development and continuous integration of applications. This is how the software defined vehicle of the future is going to, going to look like. Again, we have a partnership I mentioned. We have several partnerships. Geotab is one, Sibros is one. Uh, Google Cloud provides technology. We are a data company. Google grew up as a data company. And the first thing as a culture we like to do is where can we find data? And anywhere we see data, our appetite really increases. So we make a lot of partnerships. We can't get all of this data on our own. Uh, so if it is your factories, we've got partners that can get data from your factories, no matter which protocol you're using, which connectivity options you're using. And similarly, uh, Partners like Sabros is what we work with to ensure that we will never go hungry as far as data is concerned. And we can get it at the right stream with the right security. Um, little bit of some uh, Google terms I would like to introduce to you. Uh, so we've got BigQuery. Um, and if anyone has not heard of BigQuery, please don't worry about it. Um, like the previous session, I'm not going to do any quiz about uh, what BigQuery is. Uh, but but I would also like you to inform you that each one of you is already a user of BigQuery. So I'm making an assumption that everyone here has some point, has a Gmail address uh, that you've used. Or if you've not used Gmail address, you've carried out some search 
or you've used Google Maps. So if that is true for everyone, BigQuery is the same technology that runs all these three solutions. Google Cloud has got all of that technology available to customers of all sizes, from MSMEs to SMEs to, of course, large corporates. And similarly, Vertex AI is our um, AI platform. So when you get recommendations that this route is faster on your Google Maps or you get the smart compose, you read your Gmail and it's already trying to tell you what to reply. So that comes out of Vertex AI. And similarly, Apigee and Looker are visualization services. And Apigee is a tool that helps interface all the Google technologies with anything which is external. So I talked about Sibros. Uh, similarly, we have another partner, Geotab. And Geotab takes real-time telemetry data from over two and a half million vehicles. And it streams 50 billion data points to optimize fleets around the world. Um, so this again, like I said, it plays into sustainability. Um, and 50 billion data points is just one company you can imagine getting into BigQuery. BigQuery is a platform that scales from 10 bytes to exabytes very seamlessly. So quickly I covered, uh, this is a very la vast topic uh, and I really appreciate all the patience. Uh, moving on further, uh, going from the software defined vehicle into what is this a part of? So Google has a vision for establishing an engineering cloud, um, which will provide best in class software to designers, to manufacturers on demand. That is where we are really heading. Um, software is expensive, workstations are expensive, running the licenses is expensive, compute is very expensive, needs are going, uh, become, have grown to a very high level. So you, 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 we have a vision for engineering cloud where you have all of these connected on the cloud via a digital thread. Uh, you have cloud workstations. Um, you use the cleanest cloud in the industry. Again, I mentioned that Google is also very big on sustainability. Um, next time when you read a Gmail or use your Google Maps, you should feel a little better that all of that is completely clean cloud. So Google is the only cloud that runs 100% clean cloud. Uh, so what it means is all the electricity that is being used to power any Google services is replenished back in the environment uh, via renewable energy. Uh, then we also integrate with leading AI and ML uh, platforms. Uh, we've got simulation tools. Uh, I already talked about how vehicle simulations, whether this design works for me or not, can be done with the help of AI and ML. So that was in a nutshell on the engineering side. Now, what is Google doing on the manufacturing side? Uh, again, we have put in some very good partnerships. In India, we've got machine connectivity with companies. There are some companies that are putting 2 crore tags. Some are putting 20 lakh tags into Google Cloud every day. Some are putting 2 crore tags into Google Cloud every day and we are handling all of that. It's very easy to set up. Um, it, it is very scalable and um, you know there are growing set of use cases that are coming. So with that, uh, that was actually the end of my presentation. I'm, I took a little few minutes, but I will uh, give you the website, what I was going to run. It's a very interesting video. It's a three minute video. It talks about Waymo, uh, way forward for mobility. That's how Waymo comes. And it gives you a good preview into what an autonomous vehicle, how it drives like. So you can sit in front of YouTube and it will take you on a round of what's exactly happening inside. And this is entirely owned by Alphabet. Right. So again, thank you very much. And thank you, uh, OEM Magazine for inviting me here. Thank you, Sagar. And uh, kudos to, the, to your team for a very good uh, session so far.